Uh, next song on the track is a song that we've been performing and programming for a while now. It's very special to our family, and I know it's special to millions of others. And the song, Amber, is goodness. Of God. Oh, yeah. I first heard this song by C.C. Winans, which is by far one of my favorite female vocalists of all times. I feel like she's our Whitney Houston, you know, of my era, and she is amazing. And so I think that was the first time I ever heard her was at the Dove Awards. She performed it, and I went to my phone immediately and downloaded that version because on her album, it's live. And there's something about it when it's live. Like, I mean, it's just a great song all together. about it. But there's real. just something about this particular song. The anointing in this song is just unbelievable. But the words are so powerful. And every time that we sing it, like, you can just see it just spread mm. over the audience. It doesn't matter oh, what audience or what yeah. age. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. matter if they've heard it or not heard it because you'll see the people who obviously know the song and they've probably been singing it in their church and they immediately you know start worshiping and then you'll see another crowd who's never heard it and then they're brought to tears because it's the first time and it's touching them so deeply and it's just a really special song it's it really just is one of the most special songs that i've ever heard in my lifetime yeah I, I love it. I love the whole thing, the choruses and everything. And and it's just that anointing is pretty unbelievable. But when it gets to the part where it says, your goodness yeah. is running after me. Yeah. I think one of my favorite things about the song is that it's all praise. Yeah. It is all praise and glory to Him. And aren't we glad that He runs after us? Oh, yeah. I mean, we need that. We need it when when we feel like it's hopeless when we feel like we can't go on. He comes after us. Absolutely. It's just um, an incredible song. And for our family, you know, for those of you that follow us on social media, <laughs> then you've followed some of our journey. You know, Amber and Nathan went through a lot of heartache when they miscarried their twins. That yeah. was very tough for our whole family. And then my dad, um, January 4th of this year, he had a brain bleed several strokes, blood clots, and he was in a coma for nearly six weeks. And um, they turned the, the life support machines off. They called all of our family in, in the middle of the night and said, there's just too much trauma, too much damage. And uh, we know that, you know, you need to make a decision, but we had already known that dad wouldn't want to live a vegetative life. And so we began to plan for my dad's funeral. And uh, we began to call his brothers and sisters, and let them know the news that we had just heard. And it was very, very bleak. But yet in the midst of all of that, uh, we were trying to show people that were watching our journey, like in the midst of this, we can still sing of God's goodness. When Amber uh, and Nathan went through all those times where they question what was going on and how, how long they've waited to have children and things like that, and, and it, they miscarried. We would still get up in front of people and sing of God's goodness. And then the doctors noticed some miraculous things happening in my dad's life physically. And he'd already gone through a kidney transplant and that was a miracle in and of itself. Now here he was on death's door and he was brought, he woke up and all the blood from his brain was drained from the tubes. And he woke up, he went to physical therapy, he's now at home, and he has no brain damage. He's still recouping from some of the physical trauma of, you know, of these, these strokes. He's still in physical therapy. But just this past Sunday, he walked on a platform in front of a thousand people at our church and sang, no one ever cared for me like Jesus. And it was a miracle. It was a, a physical miracle that we witnessed God raise him up from his deathbed. But I tell people when we share some of these stories, but if God chose not to do that miracle in his life, we would still be singing of the goodness of God. And that's why this song is so powerful. And uh, you're right, there's something about this song. I think you'll, you'll, you'll enjoy the recording but this is a song that needs to be shared corporately. And uh, it's been a staple in our music sets now for a couple of years because it's a unifier. And uh, 
and uh, wow, very honored to uh, to have recorded it. Oh my.